President Biden is calling on Congress to pass an assault weapons ban in the aftermath of those shootings. But he is getting a lot of resistance from Republicans in the House. Our D.C. Bureau Chief Ben Kennedy live at the White House now to continue our live team coverage. Ben. Calvin Nicole, President Biden held banned semi-automatic rifles while serving in the Senate and now wants to do it again as commander in chief as he calls on lawmakers to take action. Our hearts are with the people of California. In the Roosevelt Room of the White House, President Biden hosted Democratic congressional leaders as he calls on lawmakers to act quick and deliver gun reform legislation in the wake of mass shootings in California. I am asking you all to send that to my desk as quickly as you can. He released a statement saying there is still work to be done to keep our communities safe and keep dangerous firearms out of dangerous hands. It is a priority for the president. It really is. That's why he's taking executive actions. On so-called ghost guns, homemade or makes you fun firearms that Biden's executive action aimed to get off the streets by making them subject to the same federal laws as other firearms. He also signed the Safer Communities Act last summer, the first major gun safety law in nearly three decades, which keeps firearms away from domestic violence offenders and people deemed dangerous. It also toughens background checks on young gun buyers. But the White House says there is only so much they can do to curb gun violence. At the end of the day, we need Congress Act. We need legislation that can be signed into law. And California Senator Dianne Feinstein did just reintroduce a bill to ban assault weapons, but at this point, they do not have the votes in Congress to push it through. Reporting live at the White House, Ben Kennedy, Local 10 News. Okay, Ben.